All right, so here's the deal. Here's what I did. So this is my fuel, primary fuel filter, right? So this go, comes goes to the tank or comes from the tank. You've got here a bleed screw pump check valve that goes to the lift pump, obviously towards the engine. So what I was doing initially, well, also what I found, I'm such an idiot, what I found, when I was trying to start the engine last time, I had not tightened that back down all the way. So when the engine was running, it was actively sucking air into the fuel line when I was doing this last time. I just, com I just completely forgot to completely tighten it back all the way down. I'm so mad about that. So, so fast forward, I get in here. The first thing I do is I open this up, start pumping this pump it a lot. I had to pump it a lot because there's a lot of fuel that needed to go in there. Finally get it to where it's, it's squirting out. Close this down. What I didn't realize at the time, it could have saved me an hour, is that if I close this valve and then open the bleed screw on my, this is a secondary filter, of course. If I open the bleed screw, not the front, but the back, and if I open that, I can still pump this and fuel, because here's my fuel line. It goes there to the lift pump. You see the steel braided. And what will happen by pumping the primary fuel filter pump, I can get fuel leaking out of here so that I can, let me see if you can see that. You, you, you know what this is. So the, the second, no, back there, not the first one, the second one. That's the bleed valve. I don't know what this one is, but that's the bleed valve. So when I opened that one and pumped my primary fuel, fuel filter pump, I got fuel leaking out of that, which was amazing. I got air bubbles, all kinds of stuff. It could have saved me so much time. This, the freaking lift pump, you know, with the finger toggle thing there to try to pump, I that's put so little pressure. I can't imagine that working. I tried for, in total, probably 10 minutes of pumping. Never got a single nothing out of that there. But as soon as I opened that and started pumping my primary pump fuel filter, Perfect, so what I did after that was, so it goes from lift pump, fuel filter, fuel line. So you follow that up to, do you see this nut that's all rusty? This is the bleed nut for the high pressure pump. So I didn't take this off, you don't mess with that. It's this little guy in the front. You crack that just a wee scotch, and then still I can pump this guy because this is all still low pressure it's all still low pressure so it's still gonna do that i use that guy pump it until this starts squirting it also where that i don't i don't know what that is not that but this back there that guy right there right there till he starts squirting out fuel and then once all the bubbles are i and I, I pumped it a bunch to make sure that it was definitely going to do it i pumped it a bunch you can see i got a bunch of diesel pad rags down here but um so I pumped it until that guy was just straight up squirting nothing but diesel out. And I cracked it off and closed it. And so from here, this is your high pressure pump. It goes to your high pressure lines, fuel lines. Bah, 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 bah. And then here are your fuel injectors. So I did not actually have to crack off my fuel injectors. I thought I was going to, but I didn't. This up here is your return line that goes back to your tank for your overflow. Right, so that goes back to your tank. Some people, for some of these, it goes back to your secondary filter, but this goes back to my tank. So yeah, so the last case scenario would have been to crack these off and then start it, but I didn't have to. After I got the, the high pump bled out, I started the engine, it started up. Something I did prior to that, that I don't know if it worked or not, but these are my are decompression levers, right? So you open these up and this, De makes the cylinders do not get compression. So whenever you start it, you won't hear that juga 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 sound like like uh, like it's trying trying to turn over. It sounds like a sewing machine. It's just click 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 click. So you do that to cycle fuel through the lines without trying to turn the engine over. I did this three different times. Um, it didn't work for me. I could not get it to to bleed. I was trying to bleed both. Actually, I was trying to bleed this guy. And this guy, not at the same time, but at separate times. And I, and I couldn't do it. it. It wasn't working. Um, but like I said, that is the freaking chant back there. That pump did the work. So make sure I close these back up so it will start again. So, yeah, they're good. Um, so, yes, that's how I did it. I cleared the lines. And you could definitely tell that there were bubbles in there because you could see them coming out. And then it started coming out clear. Not clear, but, you know, with no bubbles, just, just fuel only. So, yeah, very happy that I did not have to mess with the fuel injectors. Um, he also just got these cleaned. A while back, so I just really don't want to mess with them. So, happy day to me.